What's up my fine apples? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited because today I have a whoop or want for you. So today I'm going to be testing out three different products from L'Oreal. So we're going to be testing out to see if the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation, the Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. These products are a whoop or want. All right guys, so before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe because it is free 99. Also, don't forget to click that bell and I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. So now let's get on with the video. Woo! Let's start off with this foundation. I'm just reading what they say off of Ulta. They always have pretty good descriptions. So I have the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. It is $14.99 at Ulta, but I saw on Target, I believe it was $11.99. I find that Target and Walmart have like the best prices because I think Walmart was only three cent less. Right off the bat, comes in 30 different shades. That's absolutely beautiful. I am so excited. Like I have said before, just give the shades so you don't get the shade. So it says it's a breakthrough long wear foundation with breathable skin technology. Technology. It's a 24 hour foundation that provides medium to full building coverage that lasts all day. Formula actually has three oil absorbers, resists sweat, water, and transfer. It's an ultra thin liquid that goes on smoothly to give a fresh, healthy looking complexion that lasts. Color stays true and blends in evenly. I'll go through the color, the formula, all that. If it oxidizes, um, you'll see how liquidy this is. It's suitable for all skin types. Today I'm going to be doing a full application with a sponge, also a brush and all of that. I've been testing out these products for three weeks, so I have a really, really good grasp on them. Let me show you the packaging of the foundation right here. Comes with a pump. Absolutely love it. Let's go on to the concealer, which I was so excited about because I know everybody's always trying to find like that perfect drugstore full coverage concealer that looks beautiful and bomb and just lays on smooth. I have the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer. This baby comes in 25 shades. I was pretty amazed at that. I think the selection is absolutely bomb and amazing. This retails for $12.99. I'll put other prices right here just because I know it kind of fluctuates all over. Full on coverage, full face wear, waterproof, transfer resistant, fade resistant, cover contour and shape your face. Completely covers imperfections, minimizes redness and scars. Right when I saw this concealer this right away I was just like is this going to be like a tape shape or Too Faced sculpting. Uh, packaging really nice and clean and nothing too flashy I really like it and a huge doe foot applicator yep completely following the trend of these huge doe fit applicators. It doesn't really bother me. I mean, I don't know. I really like it. I think they make a larger one because it's not just for meant for underneath the eyes. It's meant to also contour. That's why they put a bigger doe foot in case people are like, this is too big. It's so that you can also contour instead of just placing so much concealer with like a little applicator. It's just like, whoop. And then next up, I have the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. An instant lash lift effect, a lengthening mascara, waterproof formula lasts up to 24 hours, no clumps, no flaking or smudging. Uh, two position wand for a customized look. Use straight to stretch and lengthen or bend to lift and intensify corner and bottom lashes. Flexible taper brush coats for a panoramic effect. This is what the packaging looks like. Definitely different. It's very she thick right here and I don't mind it. I mean mascara is not something that I really bring with me in my makeup bag so th this doesn't really bother me and I want to get out of the habit of having so many mascaras in my collection so if she's a little bit thicker than the other ones I ain't mad at it. They say you can have it straight. There's this little ball that you can flex and you can also bend the wand. So you can have it like this. You can have it like this. I think this could, so I thought that was pretty cool because sometimes when you're placing your mascara it's just like really inconvenient like when it's always straight. Um, so I'm definitely excited to show you how I use this baby. All right guys so now that we went over all the specs and the prices and everything like that let's get into the application. All right guys so let's start off with primer since this is a drugstore foundation we're going to be using Maybelline's Master Prime. I haven't used any of the L'Oreal primers. I do have them but I don't know I just really love this one. So for application I'm going to do one side with the sponge. I'm going to be using my favorite sponge Sigma 3D HD and then the other side I'm going to be using a round top kabuki from Sigma. Each of them give completely different results when I first try this out. I do have footage but I kind of wanted to like update you because I have been trying this out already for three weeks now. When you pump the foundation it is much more liquidy than I thought it would be. For some reason I thought it looked like it would be thick. So that was one pump. I'm going to do one pump on this side of my face. If I have any like sparkles, it's because of my eyeshadow. Well, I'm not gonna use the full pump. I just wanna show you what it looks like using that. And then when I use my sponge, it's very easy to blend in, but I will say this foundation does oxidize on me more into like an orange tone. I mean, it doesn't look bad on me. I can definitely work it, work with it because I neutralize it with my powder. Now let me just use a little bit more for my neck. I actually use the 
full pump on one side. Like this honestly feels like I have nothing on my face. Like this is probably like my lightest, lightest foundation I've ever tried. I didn't really get my half of the nose, sorry. But this was one pump and this is with my sponge wet. Uh, like I said, it gives a more fresh appearance with a sponge. I think it feels super lightweight, very easy to blend. I think it gives a really nice balance. Um, I do have like a little friend that left a little bit of pigmentation because it's my fault I was picking at it, but it's still kind of peeping through, but it does give some coverage. I would say this is like a light to light medium coverage. I don't think this is a full medium at all, but very nice and fresh and I love it. I love the way this looks just for like an everyday look. Let's go on to the round top kabuki and you're going to see the difference. So you can see right away just the coverage of it. I mean, it still doesn't look cakey and it feels fresh. I still have some peeking through, but the coverage is much more with the brush. I'm pretty sure you guys can see it off the bat. Like, I can see it on the camera and it's like, whoa, it looks like I used half a pump and like one pump on here. So there's a big time difference whenever you use the brush. There's such a world of a difference between the sponge and then the brush side. Do a little bit more on my brush and then I'm just gonna balance it out. Can you guys tell, like it definitely oxidized. It gives more of like an orange tone, I will say that. Uh, I'm not mad at it, I'll just use like a more neutralizing powder that I've been trying out with it, but I will say this does oxidize and none of my other L'Oreal Sun Beige foundations ever do this on me, so when I pick this up, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too light because some, sometimes some beige is a little bit too light on me so then I have to bronze it up and add a little bit darker of a foundation. So I went and I got like the next one up and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna use it. Definitely gonna return it because I do not need a darker foundation. I work with it, I put a more neutral powder and it ends up working out, but FYI, it does oxidize for sure. I really like the finish of it so far. It's not too um, shiny or greasy looking or anything like that because usually with fresh faces, things are super, super glowy and with this, it's not. It looks pretty like in the middle, like a satin finish, so. Next, let's go into the concealers. I tried these for three weeks as well. I wanted to try everything all at once. It wasn't in store when I picked it up, so I had to order these off of Amazon. It was kind of hard to find my shade just looking by pictures, but I ended up picking some good ones. So the first shade I'm going to show you is 375 and this one is called Latte. And then the next one is 380 and this one's actually lighter and this one is called Pecan. I went with Latte and then when I wanted to brighten it up, I added a little bit of Pecan. I'm like looking at myself in the viewfinder. I'm looking at the shade. Oh my gosh. I can make sun beige work, but definitely oxidizes. I'm just like, <gasps> I'm just going to place some right underneath, not too much. I know a lot of us like to go crazy with the concealer, but I wanna show you guys what it looks like with a more natural hand. This one blends out really nice and easy. Feels super lightweight. The shade obviously isn't too brightening, but it's more on like a great everyday shade. It's just, it's really light, see? But I still wanna show you what it looks like just in case this might be your shade but this definitely is very, very brightening underneath. I know some people really like to go bright underneath their eye, so that's another reason why I wanna show it. See, so here is Pecan and here is Latte. So what I've been doing is I'm gonna add a little bit of Latte on this side, and now I'll add a little bit of Pecan just so I can balance it out. With this concealer, you definitely don't wanna to add too much, which I feel like I added a little bit more than usual just because it can tend to get cakey. When I use too much of the concealer, it definitely creased on me, but less is always more. For concealer coverage, I will say I think it is a medium coverage. Also, you wanna work fast with this concealer. It dries quick, so once you place it on, blend that baby out, do not let it sit. Right now, I can tell since I mixed it in the shades, it's looking a little cakey and thick underneath. I can personally see it because it's kind of building like more fine lines. You know when you have more roadmaps underneath your eyes? This is like the only product I'm gonna be using that is not drugstore, so sorry for that. This is the only one. I love my Laura Mercier, so just use your own favorite translucent. Do a light dusting. Very light underneath the eyes. You don't want to add a lot of powder with this concealer and I wouldn't really recommend baking with it as well. The concealer does dry super matte so that's why I don't like to use a ton of powder. Even though when you put it on, it feels super hydrating but then once you start blending it out, I don't know what it is. Like it starts drying right away and becomes super, super mattifying which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I can see people who don't like setting their under eyes love the set. It doesn't look too bad today. I have seen it much worse but just warning you. I've been using the Maybelline, what is this even called? The Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Medium. This one really helps to neutralize. It does look like it's dark in the container, but it is not. I'm just gonna use my small Sigma 
and I've been enjoying this to help neutralize my face. You can't, I mean, you can kind of tell when I go like that, but it just brings it down a notch where it's not looking too orange. All right guys, so now this is my final look. Let's go through the products. Let's see what is a whoop, what is a womp, and I'm about to tell you my final decision after testing these products out for three weeks. So let's start off with the foundation. It says 24 hours. I don't wear my foundation for 24 hours. I don't know who does. Maybe a super, super long night, but I think that it applied beautifully. It's really nice and thin and light. I don't mind that it's too liquidy. I don't really like super, super thick foundations. I love that it's a pump, and I love that it comes in 30 different shades. Round of applause for that. Uh, overall, I like how it's basically a two for foundation. You can have a really nice light application and it looks really nice and fresh, or you can use it with a brush and it looks more full coverage, and I love that. I love that I can kind of get two different looks out of it, a fresh face and also a more full coverage. So this baby is definitely a whoop in my books. I think it lasted really nice and long. It was amazing. I loved it. I loved the wear of it. I tried it with mainly the Maybelline powder and other powders, but overall I always got the same result. I absolutely give this a big womp, I said womp, a big whoop. For this, I don't think it's really that drying just because it has a really nice satin finish. So it's kind of like for normal, too semi-dry, too oily T-zones because it does have the oil absorber in here, but I find that it's not like so drying like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. It is nothing like that. I think a lot of skin types can really use this. So now let's go into the Infallible Full Wear. I will say I tried this out. It definitely was waterproof. It reminded me of the Tarte Shape Tape, which is super waterproof. Not as waterproof as that one, but um, I like the applicator. I love that it comes in 25 different shades. My only issue with this is that I thought it looked very cakey underneath my eyes. I wouldn't recommend using a lot of it. Use very, very little. Do I find myself buying this again if I run out? Unfortunately, no. So it's kind of like one of those love hate. I'm gonna say it's a womp because I don't find myself purchasing it in the future. I think it's a great overall, like, Lots of shades, it's affordable, it's in the drugstore. Uh, I personally like the Makeup Revolution better. It's more hydrating underneath the eyes. It was just so weird because I had such high hopes for it and when I tried it out, it looked like super cakey underneath my eyes because I put too much. Then I started testing out a little bit more and I was working with it, trying you know different ways to apply it and all of that, using less of it, mixing them up. And I just don't like the dry time, how once you place this, like you gotta work with it quick and once it dries, it dries so matte. Like, so matte that it looks like super dry but then also like cakey like my under eyes right now they look super thirsty like they need to drink some freaking water um I don't know what it is it's just not my favorite I don't think it's so terrible where I wouldn't use it because I I will use these products because I did buy them but I just don't find myself purchasing them in the future it's it's good but try it for yourself everybody's always different I just get really picky with my concealers I'm a concealer connoisseur I guess you can say and I like trying like you know to find the best of the best and this one I'm just like er, I don't really need you in my collection once I'm done with you let me know if you guys try it and how you guys feel if you guys have tried it out because this has been out for a couple weeks now and I've been trying out for three weeks it's just it always looked dry underneath my eyes okay so now let's go on to the unlimited mascara uh, I will say I think people are not gonna like the packaging because it is bulky but like I said in the beginning of the video I don't really carry mascara with me so I don't need to touch it up I love how it separates the lashes I'm going to say right now it is a dupe and I just asked for this in my 2018 favorites. It's a dupe for my Bad Gal Mascara. I said I wish they would come out with a waterproof version. This baby is it. I am obsessed with this. It elongates the lashes. It separates crazy. Uh, once it gets to the third coat though, it starts getting spidery so don't don't do the third coat unless you like more spider lashes. I know some people do prefer that so everybody has their own personal preference but this thing reminds me of it so much. I am obsessed. The only thing I will say is that the Bad Gal uh, mascara is thinner um, in applicator, but the way that they work, works amazing. Like I know lashes are so personal, but I find that it separates so good. And then I know some people might not like this whole little mechanism, but I personally prefer, especially for the bottom lashes, because whenever you have it straight, I have an issue with hitting my cheek sometimes. So this definitely, can help when you're bending it and look 
it's like so much easier. I don't know, I love how it twists. I just love it. I think it's great just to get in there. I'm obsessed with this, I love it. I think a lot of mascara should have this. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if you guys would like it, but I just think it's so much easier to hit those bottom lashes and in those corners without hitting your eye makeup or your cheek. So this is a big whoop in my books. I'm obsessed, it is waterproof. It doesn't flake or smudge like it says. So amazing. All right guys, well that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so happy that I had two whoops and only one womp. I really had high hopes for this. Like I said, it's not completely terrible, but I don't see myself purchasing it. Let me know because everybody's under eyes and skin works differently. I'm sure it's amazing around the face, but underneath the eyes where I mainly use concealer, it just didn't work out. Um, but leave comments down below if you tried it out or if you plan on picking it up. It's not terrible, so this is just my personal opinion and my experience, but I'm so excited for the other products. I think they worked great. Let me know down below if you want me to do any other whoop or womps on certain products. I did get requests on the Fenty concealer and let me know if you guys want me to pick that up and test it out. I love you Finable so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video and don't forget I upload every Tuesday and Thursday. Mwah. Here we go, it's all about you, it's all about me, it's all about what we do Making art, you and me, trying to find something to believe